Hey, it's Keith. Uh, just wanted to share a couple of clips of uh, two of my runs from this weekend's day one of the SCCA Champ Tour. Um, just want to throw a shout out to uh, the sponsor for uh, this year, which is Polestar. Um, they're a spark plug company. I've been using them in the Audi TT. Uh, that we run in Chicago for a year. I've been really happy with the results and they're sponsoring the Camaro for this season. So without any further ado, here's uh, the first run and what ended up being my fastest run. Uh, it had been raining a little bit in my first run, but kind of took that one easy. Um, this one was the drier run, so pretty happy with this one to lay down a pretty good time. A couple sections I went a little too slow in, I think, but it's fine. I was hoping to really clean stuff up on the third run. The grip was pretty good. Um, I had started with uh, 31 PSI on my first run and then picked up an additional four pounds of uh, pressure after finishing the first run and kind of went back down to 31 across the board. You can hear it's still squealing a little bit, which suggests that the tires are a little too inflated. Um, but it's pretty good. You can hear just when sometimes I get on it, the back end comes up from under it, which it usually does it, but there's a little bit of a sprinkle going on. Through here, a little bit squirrely. About a 6707, which is on par with like the cam, most of the cam C cars. This is the uh, third and final run, so now the rain is kind of coming down, and it's a really weird... Actually, let me pause it here for just a second. It was really weird, so I, I've never gone from dry or, or at least relatively good grip to a light kind of sheet of rain or, or water on the track. And usually I, I really don't mind driving in the rain, like... I, I feel like the Camaro still has grip and, and it's fine. But this was like being on ice. And I don't know if it was because it's freshly sealed blacktop or if it's more that my pressures were, were pretty low, anticipating a dry run uh, mixed with, I think, it just being wet enough where the wheel or the tires weren't channeling the water away. But... Um, still it was just really hard to put put any grip down so you'll see i mean it's incredible that this is an uh, this run is like 10 seconds longer but anyway so here the back end just kind of steps out i don't want to put any power down i do it breaks loose got to get back off screws up my line it's much faster through here before slalom maybe 10 miles an hour slower just crazy can't get on it here can't put it to the edge of traction here try to get on it here but it gets loose ease up for this turn which I overdrove last time so that was kind of my point of focus for this run not that it mattered I'm almost just kind of like leaving it <laughs> like at, at one throttle position and not even bothering to to really push it. Which I guess is the luxury of um, being the only car in F-Class. I didn't have to work that hard. And that's that. Oh, it's got a little sideways coming through the finish. It's happy I didn't whack the timing lights. But uh, that's the run. So, uh, so far, so good. I mean, it was, it was, this is my first champ tour or national tour or, you know, n not regional competition. Um, I wish there were some other F cars just to compare myself to, but it's been good. Been fun and looking forward to tomorrow. All right. Thanks for watching.